Hello, my Libras. This is your daily for the 9th through the 10th for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general, you guys, so it will not resonate for everyone. If you're new to the channel, <clears throat> please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, okay? This is your Angel Prayers card for the day. Synchronicity. Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. The yin and the yang. Okay? All right. I like it. That is your thing for the day. Let's see what's going on for my Libras. Where are you guys at right now? Hmm. I like it. Ooh. All right. Huh. A lot of you have been through some some crap, okay? But you're com you're coming out of coming out on the calmer side of things here in the Six of Swords. But there is something that is um, like awakening in you here, okay? With this tower, and I don't. Since there are not any horrible cards around this, I'm getting the strong impression that you guys are have started communicating very fast with somebody. Okay? There's something that you have just started to do for a lot of you. Now, for others of you, you have um, you moved to a place. And some of you, and I, I'm sorry to say this, but some of you have actually experienced um, a situation where you have actually like got put out of a house or you've had a house fire or something of that nature. And I'm very sorry to hear that. And you've had to like move like very fast. Um, but for others of you, and I just got that. And I'm really sorry about that because, you know, that's horrible. Very, that's horrible. Um, but as far as the relationship is concerned for a lot of you, this is you guys. Um, there's something going on right now that has really, like, awakened you. It's like you were moving, uh, moving through calmly and, you know, just kind of going on with your life. And then, boom, something happens. And then all of a sudden you have all of this communication going on with someone, okay? So let's see why this is happening. Let's see. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Moving. To a calmer area you this is you completing a karmic cycle and now you're starting something new here all right this is somebody that you know likes to take care of people they like to make sure that their person is okay they check on people that is what this individual represents now either <clears throat> you are thinking this about somebody that you have encountered or they are thinking this about you um, very attractive very alluring but yet um, you know kind of not really untouchable but um, somebody you would be glad to have on your arm somebody you feel like is uh, stable and grounded um, you know somebody that is is you know a commitment type of person okay this is not a flighty energy at all. But, you know, all of this communication with this person, I feel like some of you are kind of, um, you're kind of leery about this person. You're kind of paranoid about the situation. But at the same time, it's like, you know what? I can do this. I'm just going to be observant. But I can do this. I can do this, you know, because you've gone through something here with the Six of Swords. But there's something that um, that's been very fast for you, 
that has um, has you kind of excited. You're trying not to be so excited here though with the Queen of Pentacles because you are leery. Again, this is like um, Sagittarius type of energy, flighty energy, you know, wanting to run like the runaway bride or something, you know, it's like too good to be true almost for you. All right. So let's see what the outside influence is. Hmm. All right. So we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Four of Swords here. So what I'm getting is this is this is very new, which I figured that. Um, but there is an interest here. There is an interest here after somebody has gone through a breakup and been hurt. Okay, somebody's been in this this you know. I'm gonna take a time out mode. I'm not trying to be hurt. I'm not trying to offer my cup, but. There has been um, somebody that has piqued your interest. Very Libra energy right here. But this is what you have been in. Okay? And possibly the other individual that you're dealing with. I think both of you have um, probably been through something here and have just kind of like removed yourself from dating or what have you getting getting into another relationship and um and so now you know the interest has peaked here let's see what the advice is <laughs> don't be confused do not be confused we see that you know here um you're feeling just a little bit uneasy Kind of you know thinking that you know this is not going to work out or you know this is not good for me i shouldn't be doing this you know I've, I've been through some hurt back here i'm just getting to a point where you know i'm good now so you know not staying you know in this four of swords and not talking or you know not interacting just trying to you know stay in your bubble to avoid this ace of cups don't get it don't get it don't be confused, Libras. Don't be confused, okay? Um, whatever this is, that's what it is. Okay? Um, yeah, because I get the feeling that a lot of you probably are wanting to walk away from this because with this Seven of Cups being here, with the Ace of Cups, that's the Eight of Cups walking away um, because you want to stay in your safe zone. But it's time to get out of that, my friends, okay? So, my Libras, that's what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.